Hey everybody, I'm out here hunting a new spot today. So far I found a set of modern keys with shotgun brass and like some foil. You know, nothing nothing too exciting. Right here I got a a deep dime signal. It says six inches to eight inches. So I'm gonna dig that and see what it is. That's my first decent uh, sounding. I'll get right back to you. And I'm right next to a rotting old tree. So. Might be something interesting or it might be garbage. Okay, well I got the plug popped anyway. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. I'm in the woods, right next to the road. Actually, should have brought my headphones because it's kind of noisy. <laughs> uh. Is it near? The hell? Oh. What the hell is that? Hey, it's actually like a... I don't know what that is. Some kind of little charm. NEC. Uh, it says, oh, it's sterling. How about that? It is silver. Son of a bitch. Check that out. <laughs> awesome. I was not expecting that. Looks like it was a pin. Okay, well that's my first decent find. I'm not gonna rub on it too much. I'll just clean that up better when I get home. On to the next. Right here on the surface, I just found a big old spoon bowl. I thought it was gonna be a can top. Okay. By the way, I'm hunting in all metal mode on my H350 sensitivity one from the top. Okay, I'm still on this hillside next to the road. I haven't even got to the spot that I'm actually trying to get to yet. And get a lot of hot rocks and stuff over there. But uh, right here I just got a pull tab signal. And it turned out to be a ring. It's not gold. It's just like a kid's ring, I guess. It's small. Mm, lighting in here is really bad. I guess it's fake. I don't... I'm not gonna rub it on my pants here. Yeah, the machine's saying pull tab. So I don't think that's silver. It might be just plated. So I'm not gonna rub on it much. I'm just gonna put that away and uh, show you a better picture after I clean it. Awesome. All right, on to the next. Yet another target found that isn't a can top. You know, ringing up like a can top, but it wasn't. That's an old light fixture, I guess. 
that's right on the surface. I'm gonna keep that. I'm closer to the spot that I have marked on my GPS now. See it flattens out over there. And I just know there was some kind of activity there, but this right here is a good sign. I just found a uh, old piece of, probably from saddle, from like a saddle or a harness of some kind. All right, I'm gonna start looking around right here. Okay, it's only been a minute. I found my first neat find here. It's like a little head off of something. It's pretty neat. Okay. Okay, I just got my next uh, decent target here. It's a, uh, I guess from like a suspender. So that's pretty cool. There's a ton of signals around here, so I'm wondering if maybe there was a house down there in that flat spot. I'm pissed off I didn't bring my headphones though because this road noise is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Okay, on to the next though. Oh yeah, there was another house right around here somewhere because I just found a uh, top to a stove. All right, I'm not carrying that out. Okay, it's only been a couple seconds and I found something really cool. Some kind of hairpin, I guess. Yeah, that's awesome though. All right. Okay, I was chasing a crappy signal right there. It did not sound like a coin, but I popped it out and that certainly looks like a coin to me. Oh baby. Uh, that looks like an SLQ. Let me get my water out. I'm not going to be able to do this uh, on camera. I can't hold the phone and use both hands, so I'm just going to clean it up and get right back to you. Okay, better yet, it's a barber. 1894. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I might have grazed it there on the rim, I'm not sure. It did not sound like a coin at all. I don't know, maybe my... Maybe because I have my sensitivity set really high, I don't know. But oh, I'm happy to find that. Okay, on to the next, see if I can find some more. This is why it didn't sound good. There's a piece of iron right next to it. Right in the sidewall. Okay. Okay, I think I have another coin here. Not silver this time. Looks like a nickel. 
Oops, where'd it go? Oh. Looks like a V nickel. Yep. You can just see that V on the back. Awesome. Is in all this, all these sticks. I was just poking around in the sticks. <laughs> Looks like I'll probably be able to get a date off of that at home. I'm not going to mess with it too much right now. Oh wait, I can see it. It's drying up. 18, 1889, I think. Freaking awesome. Yeah, it's definitely 1889. I finally made it to the flat spot that I wanted to check out. I ran into a lot of hot rocks up there in that other spot. It went to coin mode. Wasn't finding a whole heck of a lot, so I just kind of wandered over here. And it sure looks like there used to be a house here. I think that right there, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a depression there. It looks like it might have been a well. Or it could have been an outhouse, who knows. But I just figure right here along this road, this old road, in this flat spot, there had to have been a house here. And I just got my first target here, and it is a coin. Penny sized coin. Yeah, it looks like I nicked the edge of it too. Dumbass. Yeah, that's gonna be a Zink and Lincoln. That's a Zink and Lincoln. Next. Okay, check it out. I was walking along, kind of following this dead road here. Not really detecting it hard, just kind of walking and swinging. And over this route, I got a a four inch deep dime signal. Pulled it out and it's right there, it's a silver dime. What is that? That is thin. Hold on, let me get my water. Oh, that's a seeded dime. I just found my first seeded dime. 1891. That's my first seeded anything besides my old counterfeit half. That is awesome. I think that's the last year for seeded too. Oh, I can't even believe this. It's really thin. You can see it's well worn, so not, you know, extremely valuable or anything, so. But that makes me happy. That is my first seated. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna check out this little road a little more here. Kinda running out of time, it's getting into evening already. But all right, on to the next. Okay, right there I dug a piece of foil, and that's my last signal, I gotta go. It's getting dark, it's actually starting to sprinkle too, which is stupid because there was like 10% chance of that happening today. But it's evening, I gotta go, and I'll probably be back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching, happy hunting, I'll see you next time.